Are we reading books? Yeah, I'm reading books. We're reading want, books. Do you want to read the books? I'll read a book. Oh dear. Oh why, my. Why did it do that? I don't know. Did it crash? Um, no. Okay. Good. Yeah, you can read the book. I'm gonna read a book. It's the the red uh the right uh mouse that's oh, under. Found the mouse. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Mixed unit tactics in the Five Years' War Volume 1. The legions could learn from the unconventional tactics used by the Khajiit in the Five Year War against Valenwood. Valenwood. Sorry. I was stationed at the Sphinx Moth Legion Fort. Jeez. On the border near Dune and witnessed many of the uh, northern skirmishes firsthand. I can't read, but I can try. The war started with the so called slaughter of Corval. Or Torval. Corval. Torval. The Khajiit claim that he, oh, that the Bosmer invaded the city without provocation and killed over a thousand citizens before being driven off by reinforcements from a nearby jungle tribe. The Bosmer claim that the attack was retaliation for Khajiit bandits who were attacking wood, uh, wood caravans headed for Valenwood. So they basically just annihilated an entire city because of some criminals. So, sounds racist. In the spring of 3E-396, the war moved closer to Fort Sphinxmoth. I was posted on lookout and saw parts of the conflict. I later spoke with both Khajiit and Bosmer who fought in the battle, and it will serve as an excellent example of how the Khajiit used the mixture of growth, uh, ground, and tree units to win the war. Tree units. Different than ground units. The Khajiit began the fight in the unusual way by sending tree-cutting teams to Cathway? Cath yes, Cathay. Um, wrapped? Rot? Rat? I guess so. And the fearsome senshi wrapped or battle cats, into the outskirts of Valen Woods forests. When the war reached the Bosmer that the trees were being felled, allegedly a crime in the strange Bosmeri region, a unit of archers were dispatched from the larger conflicts in the south. The Bosmer were thus goaded into splitting their forces into smaller groups. That's eh, just basic divide and conquer. Thank you. Uh-huh. Okay, in the spring of three, 396, the war moved closer to Fort Sphinx Moth. I was posted on the lookout and saw parts of the conflict. I later spoke with both Khajiit and Bosmer who fought in the battle, and it will serve as an excellent example of how the Khajiit used a mixture of ground and tree units to win the war. The Khajiit began the fight in an unusual way by sending tree cutting teams of Kathara. Catharat and the fearsome Centurat or Battle Cats um, into the outskirts of Valenwood's forests. When word reached the Bosmer that trees were being felled, allegedly a crime in the region, um, in the strange Bosmeri religion, a unit of archers were dispatched from larger conflicts in the south. The Bosmer were thus goaded into splitting their forces into smaller groups. Ooh. The Bosmer archers took up positions in the remaining trees whose branches were now 20 or more feet apart, allowing some light onto, into the forest floor. The Bosmer bent the remaining trees with their magic into smaller fortifications from which to fire their bows. When the tree cutters arrived the next morning, a half dozen Khajiit fell to the Bosmer arrows in the first volley. After that, the Khajiit took large wooden shields from the backs of the Senjarat and made a crude shelter. The Khajiit, even the enormous Senjarat, were able to hide between this shelter and one of the larger trees. When it became apparent that the Khajiit would not leave their shelter, some Bosmer chose to descend and engage the Khajiit sword to claw. Ooh. When the Bosmer were nearly upon the shelter, one of the Khajiit began playing on a native instrument of plucked metal bars. This was a signal of some kind, and a small group of men like Ohms and Ohm Rats merged from covered holes on the forest floor. Although outnumbered, they were attacking from behind by surprise and won the ground quickly. The Bosmer archers in the trees would still have would have still won the battle were they not having trouble on their own. A group of Daggy and Daggy Rat 
two of the least common forms of Khaji who live in the trees of those ten mar forests jumped from one tree to another under a magical cover of silence. They took up positions in the higher branches that could not hold a bosomer's weight. When the signal came, they used their claws and either torches or spells of fire account from accounts from one accounts from the two survivors verse I spoke with very on this point to distract the archers while the battle on the ground took place. A few of the archers were able to flee but most were killed. Apparently the Dagi and Dagirat have more magical ability than is widely believed if they were able to keep themselves magically silenced for so long. One of the surviving Bosmer told me that he saw a few ordinary cats among the Dagi and even claim that these ordinary cats are known as Alphic and they that and that they were the spellcasters. But Bosmer are almost as unreliable as the Khajiit when it comes to the truth, and I cannot believe that a house cat can cast spells. At the end of the day, the Khajiit lost perhaps a half dozen fighters out of force of no more than four dozen while the Bosmer lost nearly an entire company of archers. The survivors were unable to report back before a second company of archers arrived and this strategy was repeated again with similar results. Finally, a much larger force was sent and the Bosmer won that battle with the help of the native animals of Valandwood. That third skirmish and the Khajiit response, I will discuss in the second volume of the series.